Hey folks, I am super, super excited about this battle. I've been holding on to it for two months. It's a little cup battle. Oh man, I'm so excited. Sorry, uh, so yeah, the reason I've had to hold off is because of how my update schedule works and the, my battle numberings, um, which is a system that's completely crazy. But anyway, um, this was uh, Shaggy Ginger's first round battle for my um, little cup tournament. He got a buy first round, but I said, it's not just a free buy, you have to battle me, um, even though no matter win or lose, you still go on to the next round. Uh, that tournament is still ongoing, which is kind of a hassle. Anyway, I lead off with my um, Onyx, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up Stealth Rocks. Um, I was wondering whether I should taunt him, but uh, I think we have the same base speed anyway, so taunt might not have even worked. Um, and I don't really mind the rain, I guess. Uh, so I set up Stealth Rock. Um, and then I consider what to do. Uh, yeah, so he's got the rain up, and he does have um, Mantike on his team. And so I'm wondering whether he's going to switch out Mantike, predicting the Earthquake. So think about Earthquake, because it would be a super effective hit. But I decide Stone Edge is a safer move. And so indeed, uh, he's, he pulled out his Matchbox 20, his Voltorb, and I just got to wait to see who comes out. And it's, it is indeed his uh, Mantike, who I've been really fearing um, when I saw his team. And... My Stone Edge actually hits, and it is more than enough to kill him. So that is totally, totally, totally awesome for me, um, because now I don't have to worry about that Mantike, who would have, you know, completely kicked my butt. Um, anyway, next up for him is a um, Kabuto. Uh, it's so weird. I, you know, I don't. I'm sure I'm going to screw up some of these Pokemon's names. Anyway, uh, I have the a focus sash, so I know I can take one hit from whatever he's going to with whatever he's going to dish out. Um, and that waterfall gets me down to my sash, and I'm like, oh crap! I hope I don't flinch. I hope I don't flinch, and I don't flinch. So that's really quite nice. So um, earthquake is super effective, and I've now taken down two of his Pokemon, both of his Swift Swimmers, um, and that's kind of really really awesome for me to say the least. Um, anyway, next up for him is a Krogunk, and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and fodder myself. Um, yeah, uh, this Krogunk is going to be a problem on my team, um, against my team, because I don't have too much to counter him. Uh, anyway, his Lilali, his Krogunk, uh, goes ahead and sucker punches me, which is predictable, um, and that is gonna take me out. Um, so, bye bye Onyx, uh, probably the biggest Little Cup Pokemon ever. Uh, oh my god, I love it so much. I love, love Little Cup. Um, yeah, I can't believe I've held on to this battle for so long um, without just completely going crazy. Uh, anyway, so next up for me is my Dratini, which I figure can take pretty much anything from this guy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Dragon Dance, um, just, uh, but I didn't realize that Krogunk carried Ice Punch, which was probably really stupid on my part. But hey, forgive me, I am new to Little Cup. And so that is easily enough to take me out with, with the fact that it's super effective and Krogunk has a life orb. And so that's really a shame because my Dratini is a really awesome sweeper. Uh, anyway, next up for me is my Marcel, my um, <clears throat> monkey, uh, Mankey. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out what to attack him with and I realize, damn it, he resists U-turn, uh, he resists close combat, he resists payback, doesn't he? And so my only choice is uh, Ice Punch, but how much damage is that really going to do? Um, so I do the math, and Close Combat has higher base power, gets uh, stab, and so I go ahead and use Close Combat, just hoping that it'll be enough, and that thing takes the hit like anything, I'm like, oh man, I really have no idea how I'm going to take out this freaking Krogunk. This thing's going to devastate my team. Anyway, Lil Ali uses Earthquake, um, which takes me down to my Focus Sash. Um, yeah, so... It, you might think, oh, well, that's cheap that I'm using Focus Sash on, you know, all my pokes. I'm not using it on all my pokes, I'm using it on two. And uh, Focus Sash is not broken because all you have to do is set up Stealth Rocks. Um, just pointing that out. Uh, that's why I set up Stealth Rocks. It's not for the damage it does um, on the Switch, it's for breaking people's sashes. So anyway, um, I go ahead and scare him out. Uh, my, my Ghastly scares him out and sends out, he sends out his bronze, uh, Bronzor. And I go ahead and set up a sub on the switch. I was pretty confident that he was going to switch or that he was going to sucker punch, so a, um, that was a good move for me. Uh, I go ahead and Shadow Ball, um, hoping for the defense drop, um, because Bronzor is, you know, the biggest wall in Little Cup. Um, it actually does more than half, which I was pretty surprised with. And um, 
Anyway, he sets up the rain again. I mean, this is, after all, a rain team, so that kind of makes sense. Um, <clears throat> but I don't know. Uh, I, I think I would have attacked at this point. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and Shadow Ball him again. Uh, and that's going to be enough to take out that Bronzor. And I know I don't have to worry about it, which is really quite nice. Um, so down goes that Bronzor. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, next up for him is uh, is a... Um, Jeez, Chinchou, um, one of my favorite Pokemon of Little Cup. I have one of my own, um, and so I know that it's a special wall, um, but even so, I'm going to go ahead and sludge bomb this guy, um, just, you know, try to do the maximum amount of damage, and unfortunately, I get a crit. Uh, I don't, I'm sure that crit mattered, because, as, as I said, uh, Chinchou tends to be a special wall, uh, as Lantern is uh, in the big boy leagues. Um, so I'm really sorry about that. Anyway, next up for him is a Voltorb, um, and so, but I'm behind a sub, so I, I feel pretty safe that he's not gonna, I mean, he's not gonna be able to kill me, but no matter what he does, but he's gonna be able to break my sub with a, um, 100% accurate Thunder. Um, so I kinda, I can kinda see why he set up the rain, why he was so insistent on keeping the rain up. Um, I just don't know that it would've been my choice. Anyway, Sludge Bomb is more than enough to take out Voltorb. Um, and Ghastly is just sweeping his team, which is quite nice. Quite, quite nice. Um, so anyway, I believe now he is down to his last Pokemon, which is his Lulali, his uh, Krogunk, and um, now it's all mind game here. So I think that he's going to Sucker Punch me, uh, or he might not. I'm not sure what I should do here. Um, and so I consider my options, and I go for the substitute, predicting that he's going to Sucker Punch. Unfortunately, he doesn't Sucker Punch. Um, I get up my sub, um, costing me 25% of my health, uh, and he's going to go ahead and Ice Punch, and uh, that's going to break my sub. So, not good. He, pre he predicted quite well there, and that's a shame for me. Uh, so I consider what to do next. Um, again, do I go for another sub? I, I can make one more, or do I go ahead and attack? And I decide that, well, he's probably predicting that since I can make one more sub, I'm going to make one more sub, so I'm going to go ahead and Shadow Ball, but unfortunately he predicts me, he predicts my overprediction, and he sucker punches me, and yeah, it's super effective. It's going to be enough to take out my Dark Smoke Puncher, um, that, that's um, my Ghastly, um, that's just a little hint as to its uh, nickname. Um, people familiar with Dr. McNinja will know what Dark Smoke Puncher means and why his name is Sean. Anyway, I have no idea why I sent out Marcel here, um, because again, he has got Sucker Punch and all my moves are attacking, so I really just pointless spotter. But he's down to his last Pokemon, so whatever I can do, you know, is a good thing. Um, you know, maybe I should try PP stalling him at this point? I really don't know. Um, but so anyway, I go ahead and send out my, um, my angler, um, my baby Chinchou here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and Thunder Wave him, uh, predicting that he's just going to go ahead and Sucker Punch again. Uh, instead, he Cross Chops, but Cross Chop is the fighting equivalent of Stone Edge. Um, so, yeah. So, awesome for me um, that uh, it missed. Um, that probably would have killed me. Uh, but, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and Thunderbolt him. I almost do Surf, which would have been such a bad move, because he's got the dry skin, so that would have healed him. Um, but, so yeah, Thunderbolt is enough to kill him. And that is the game. So, hope you all enjoyed that, folks. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. And please, if you've got a 4th Gen Little Cup team and can do PBR, please challenge me, because that's the only way I'm going to get any more of these battles up. So, um, yeah, please, just send me a PM, uh, or even leave a comment. Yeah.